Hi, I'm Jeff from Drillbrush, and today we're going to be cleaning a 50-gallon fish tank that I just inherited. So as you can see, we got a lot of um, a lot of gunk filled up. Uh, a lot of this might be calcium or lime scale type stuff from like hard water, um, and there's obviously just like a lot of crud from fish because this tank has been cleaning probably five odd years, something like that. Um, and as you can see, like there's been water dripping down the. This was the back of it. Um, so we did a little bit of preconditioning. I wiped down the corners so that I could tape up the uh, silicone edges. Uh, it's really important to protect these. Um, at all costs because otherwise you'll have a 50 gallon paperweight instead of a 50 gallon fish tank because if you damage this you'll either have to re-silicone it or throw it away and so I'd recommend just not creating the problem um, so this is going to be kind of a long haul so we're just really going to get right into it I'm just going to be using some basic dish soap to do the scrubbing and then I'm going to do a whole rinse treatment after which is pretty boring just rinsing it with water um, all right let's just let's get into it then <laughs> This is gonna, these spots are gonna be where we want to, we're gonna break out the two inch blue, because some of these are two caked on, so we're gonna have to use that in order to uh, to loosen them up, because the medium bristles are a bit stiffer. For the exterior, I will be going over this with a with a nice glass cleaner. Remember, the drill brush loosens dirt, but nylon doesn't pick it up very well. So you will still have to go over with a paper towel or something of that nature, but. The objective is to loosen the dirt and then you can just wipe it away easy peasy oh that is disgusting and that's just one side of the fish tank we still got to do the rest and then the back and then both the sides this stuff it's really stuck on you might have to just remove it with your hands you 
Yeah, that's some pretty aggressive calcium buildup, I will say. You're not gonna get it perfect every time. You might have to go through and do little touch-ups for spots like this. But you know what? Even if you only have to do that on a few places, overall, the whole process is way easier. Because I can get all of these big spaces done in mere minutes. And that gives me time to, to focus on all the little stuff that I can't scrub off and have to do by hand. I just love that. That's just fun. dare say that's looking better by the minute. Yeah. As you can see, we're gonna have to do another another pass on this, but otherwise it's actually looking all right. Normally we don't advocate for uh, splattering cleaner anywhere, everywhere, but in this case we're outside, and to be honest, it's just, just so dang fun. side. And from here we're probably actually going to time lapse it because you, you've really seen everything is just going to be more of the same and uh, if there's anything worth mentioning you know we'll give it a, we'll we'll slow it down and come back to you. a little bit of our um, our soapy water in the bottom as we clean the bottom so that uh, anything that we get that gets picked up anything that had been knocked down just uh, suspends in the water so we can just dump it out it's also a good way to see if your tank still holds water I redistributed some of it. All right. Now it's just on to final details and rinsing. 
time to tip it out and then we'll swap the bucket of soapy water out for fresh water, do a rinse, and then give it once over and we'll take our final, final shots. Just, uh... All right, on to the rinsing stage. Recording. All right, and there you have it. That is how you clean a fish tank with uh, a, the line of drill brush products. Now, there are some streaks left. That is due to uh, water streaks still inside the tank because water accumulates in the corners and then drips down. Um, but those will go away when we fill it because, you know, we're going to fill it with water as you do with a fish tank. Um, obviously, I went over the outsides with a uh, glass cleaner, so those are going to be crystal clear. I uh, can't do that on the inside, you know, because, you know, fish. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching and uh, happy scrubbing everyone.